to be. And so when you played and you played and you played, each of your orc interactions were different. And over time, your games diverged and became different. And no two were alike. And we've doubled, tripled, quadrupled down on that. The Nemesis system has a number of new axes that you can interact with orcs, um, including the big one, which is your actions can now affect the environment. So let's jump into the army screen, which is the bleeding heart, the beating heart of the Nemesis system. At the top, we see Ellie's goal today, and that's to take down Golm, the Slayer. He is the overlord of this region, and he has set up this fortress to rebuff people like us. He's built an entire army to keep us out, and we're going to have to go through that army to get to Golm. He set up a number of war chiefs, and each of those war chiefs has bodyguards. And each of these guys we're going to have to get through in order to get to that final little boss battle. And he has an axe in his head. That is awesome. I, I, have, I have great hopes for him, really. <laughs> so these war chiefs in the original Shadow Mortar were actually like bosses, like individually. And we've got to take down three, but luckily Talion and Calabrimbor have made a new ring of power. And what that does is like, if you look at the bottom row here, all of these guys with blue above their head, those are our army. We've spent time in the open world identifying Uryx that complement Ellie's play style or that just look super cool like Frank Frazetta paintings. And we brought them over into our army. And we can now use these guys to take down this fortress. So do you want to go into a fortress? Oh, yes. Oh, yes. So, let's go. so you're going to make a bodyguard. So, okay, I'll explain what's going on here. So we've picked one of our army and we can actually make him our bodyguard. And we'll see as we're fighting we'll be able to go through and summon him so he can fight alongside us at any point in time. You're doing something more. You're going off the rails completely. Here you go, chat. <laughs> we're doing something different. So are, you, are we doing a confrontation mission? We're doing a power struggle. So OK, here you go. So everyone else who sat here live doing this and all of the streams, for the most part, have seen a bunch of fort assaults. And we may get to that fort assault, but at this point, we're going to do a power struggle. Do you want to fast travel? Or we're just... Oh, we're going to get intel. You're going to send a death threat. Oh my god, Ellie is going completely off the rails. So Gash the Unstoppable, we have sent him a death threat. And so what... Oh my, his face. So what death threats do... Oh, this is this is epic. All right, so what death threats do is we actually leveled him up. And you're like, well, why would you level up guys who are going to kick you in the ass? Well, the reason you want to level him up is that when we kill him, because we have sent him a death threat and because he's a higher level, the loot that he drops will actually be much cooler loot. So we'll get into that sort of cycle in a bit. Hopefully we'll kill him and we'll talk about the loot then. All right, so you've sent him a death threat. And that's created a new mission type. And there it is. Lucky stream. This is awesome. Oh, yeah, she's just doing it. She's like, it's the last day of E3. We're doing this stuff. So we got to draw this guy out by mounting his siege beast and killing his warriors. All right. God, that, that dude is ugly. Gosh, I will show no mercy. There you go. Italian, not showing any mercy. So somewhere he's got some siege beasts that we need to mount. We also have a secondary objective here, which is kill five enemies with a single siege beast shot. Nice. So a lot of this gameplay, for those of you who played Mordor, will feel a little bit more similar than the Fort Assaults. The Fort Assaults are really chaotic, and so there's a lot of craziness going on. This type of gameplay is similar to the type of gameplay that we had in Mordor. A lot more of the sneaking, a lot more of the moving around, a little bit more strategic. In this case, Ellie's shadow striking and shadow branding a bunch of the archers. And there we go, there's the, grog we, the war grog we have to take. So by branding them, they won't be fighting. They're part of our army now. They're not going to be shooting at us. And 
taking out a lot of these archers means that we're not going to be they're not going to be shooting at us while we're trying to take out this crowd. All right. By taking out one of his ammo cases, we got I think we have to get two. We'll double jump. But we haven't alerted the stronghold yet, which is good. I don't know why, those are big explosions. Oh boy. So he's broken. We've done two explosions on him. He's broken. We, all right. So we've dominated him, and we've now taken on his siege beast. So we now need to kill 15 of his enemies. And we have a siege beast to do it. Did we really only get two shots to kill 15 of his enemies? All right. Well, we killed a couple. Shall we use the siege beast to kill more? Yes, we shall. <laughs> every step is ponderous, but it's huge. And every step will crush our enemies on that heel. Exactly. So some internal monologuing. So these guys are pretty powerful, certainly when they're siege beasts, but even more so when they're using their fists and they're executing and eating. So we've they killed a bunch of his guys. Threat, but it's flattering to be wanted. Thrilling, really, to discover I've got a new playmate. So let's play. And we've drawn out Gash. And why not? We're on a grog. Let's go take him out on a car. Okay, okay. I've been anticipating this moment, you know. My secret admirer finally reveals himself. And then we get down to business. Bloody, bloody business. I am not sure Dash stands a chance here. Every time we do one of those executions, our Grog health goes back up. It's the outside red ring, it's his health. Just, I was gonna see it, it, it doesn't really seem like a fair fight. Ellie will make it more fair. Uh oh, he's dropping traps. So he trapped us, which stuns us for a second. And that rock's still going crazy. He'll do damage to us, so we've got to be careful. Yep. So we mortally wounded him, which means he's now enraged. Which means he's gonna get a little bit of his health back, but not much. He's almost dead. Uh, some strategic retreat. That hit took a lot of damage off of us. Alright. There we go. That grog just took him out. We didn't even need to do anything. We could have let the grog just destroy him. So we've completed that mission, but more importantly, somewhere down there, we should have some pretty good loot. Let's get, let the Grog go do his thing. So we're picking up gems here. We may talk about those in a second, which is something we haven't really done. And their cloak, so this epic cloak, this was dropped by Gash. All right, and it's brown, even better. All right, so we've got an epic cloak from Gash. This is a Rohirrim cloak. And it doesn't actually add anything to our stealth, but what it does is it gives us some unlock challenges to actually make it even more powerful. And you'll see this is the new loot and upgrade system in Shadow of War. Each war chief can drop a piece of gear, and you can customize Talion both from a min-max standpoint because, you know, various gear, some of it gives you more stealth, some of it gives you more damage from your sword, the, you, know, you can upgrade your bows. Um, 
But it, you can also make Talion just look totally badass uh, in, to whatever style you want. So in this case, because it has some unlock challenges, um, it'll actually up the power of this cloak. Oh, so here we go. So we've unlocked, we had some Mirian, so we've unlocked a gem slot. And we actually picked up two gems during that fight. Two of the grunts dropped gems. In this case, we have a Vitality gem, uh, which increases our max health by 10% if we put it in armor. Other than that, what do we got? So in general, those upgrades are not available. What do you want to do? Vitality? Wealth or Vitality? There you go. So by sliding this gem, it gives us even more buffs and bonuses. Oh, how they love the darkness. Soon they will drown in my light. So she just summoned a Karagor there. See it at the bottom. So what she's doing, I didn't even notice. So the reason she saw anybody died, how many did we get? Did we get all five? Sweet, yeah, so we've got that. So the next thing we can do is we can upgrade it. Yeah, fantastic. So mounted Karagors recover 15% health and allied beasts take 50% less damage. So again, it's a you know there's a lot of min maxing you can do on top of just sort of the visual upgrades. All right, well, what are we doing next, Ellie? I don't know. What do you guys want to do? Should we do the? Should we do, go try to do some fort assault? Does that sound good? Fort assault? All right, let's do the fort assault. I'm sure Twitch chat's like just wander around the open world, do something else. But let's do the fort assault. We have exactly ten minutes. I don't think we've done a complete fort assault in 10 minutes. You wanna speed run it? You wanna try? No, she's like, no. <laughs> all right, this is the siege upgrade screen. This is the screen you see at the start of all fort assaults. Regard, oh, that dude is just covered in maggots. Um, that'll be fun. So on the left hand side, yeah, there you go. Um, we don't need to look at him any further, please. <laughs> on the left hand side you see our army, which is full of maggot dudes apparently. On the right hand side you see the defense army and the overlord has brought a bunch of all of his war chiefs and the overlord himself bring upgrades to these fortresses. The overlord has upgraded the wooden walls to stone walls. We have iron gates and so the stone walls are breakable, but iron is unbreakable. It's the highest level you can get. We're not going to be able to get through these gates. We have savage hosts, so we're going to be, see a bunch more savages when we try to attack this fortress. Those are the dual-wielding lunatics that come straight at you. And finally, this is, the, this is the siege beasts. And these guys are going to be dropping firebombs on us while we try to take out these, the walls. Again, we have our own war chiefs, and each of these guys can then bring something to fight against what we've seen. In this case, we're gonna bring a bunch of spiders. They're about this big, they're creepy as hell, and they poison anything they touch. We're gonna to bring our own siege beasts, more fire, so fight fire with fire. We're gonna bring hunters to try to take out those savages from a distance. And finally, Olag highs to break down those stone walls. Let's do it, Ellie. Let's watch Ellie try to take this fortress. Hey, Ellie! That actually helps quite a bit. Like that type of, yeah. Like we, we feel, you can do it, Ellie. Go, Ellie. Ellie doesn't need cheerleading. She's got that thousand yard stare. So there's the dark fortress. It's level 111, which means that's the mix of its war chiefs and its overlords level. What is this fortress then? The place this maggot goes to cry his eyes out when he fails to conquer some place else? Hope none of you are afraid of the dark, because we're right here. On your command, we'll <laughs> do our thing. Which is apparently look really ugly. Of darkness, shadow. 
they call killing assassination. Let's get in there and find out their word for surrender. <laughs> We have seven and a half minutes to try to take three victory points and take out the Overlord. That's an epic challenge. Our army is going to try to get in there however they can. However, we can approach this in many different ways. In this case, yeah, there's our Siege Beast just laying waste to that first victory point. Go Siege Beast, go! We can also lay, way, lay waste to that victory point with their Siege Beasts. Already capturing it. There he is. <laughs> Never got broken. I buy your hand. Never. Oh, is he unyielding? Ah. So you can't break him, and he's death defying. All right, we're just gonna have to kill him. Oh no, we broke him that time. Yeah. Totally broken. Oh, this is the dude with the axe in his head. Done. We shot him in the foot. Apparently, you can't shoot him in the head, but if you shoot him in the foot, you can kill him. That's <laughs> brilliant. All right, we've captured the first victory point. Our army's now going to move on to the next victory point. And we're going to beat him there, hopefully. And that's our siege, that's our siege beast just going at it. So what Ellie just did there is one of her ranged upgrades is the ability to poison. And by poisoning that barrel, she then made it explode into bale fire. So it's both poison and fire, super deadly. So you have a foot in the door. And you've got daggers now all we'll over cut you. That foot off and shove it down your throat. Oh. So we've got our wrath meter all the way up, which allows Ellie to do Elven Rage, which is a pretty late game special skill that does a ton of damage. Is he a mystic? Whatever, we broke him. The Bright Lord is your master. So in the open world. This is how you build your army. By breaking these guys down, you can dominate them and then recruit them. So going through the open world, identifying folks that you'd like to have as your army, challenging them to death threats, breaking them, they're now your army. He's gonna stay and fight for us because we're gonna try to do this in three and a half minutes. Ah, war caller. He's gonna bring even more guys here. Just summon your bodyguard? Is that him? I don't remember who you added. No, there he is. <laughs> I remember now. Oh, it's 
seen your coming, and your failure, and your fall. This refuge shall not be yours! I am sick of all this chatter! <laughs> Chained execution? No. So she was on fire and taking damage over time there. Well, luckily, those dudes, before they could execute her, got slowed up. Pure chaos. That was one of our war chiefs taking down one of their captains. Thanks, Boop That's our bodyguard. So we've captured the third victory point. We have to defeat their last war chief. has died in a just blazing, glorious death. So we've taken all three war chiefs, and we've captured all three victory points, and we have 33 seconds left. Sorry, chat, I don't think we're going to be able to make this one for you. I think we're going to have to end it a little bit before. But you got to see a bunch more of the open world. Do you want to just go in and get the last little bit of this, and then we can kill it? Let's go see what this overlord has to say. Probably just gonna taunt us, talk a lot of crap, make us not like him. They're orcs. It's what they do. You are a brave human to enter here. Soon, you'll be a dead human. All right, guys. We are going to have to end it there. Sorry we didn't get to see it, but you guys got to see about 15 minutes of stuff no one else has seen yet. Thank you very, very much. And I hope the rest of your E3 today is awesome. Thank you, Ellie. Please exit this way.